Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I've got some gameplay for you from the new map Unearthed. This is the official dome remake for Black Ops 2. I get off to a rough start here trying to goof around with the shotgun. I die twice, but then go on an absolute tear playing kill confirmed. I'm going to come in first on the team, lead the team to victory. I'm going to get the seeker aliens. I'm going to do pretty much everything except for the Venom X Easter egg. We didn't do that in this particular round, but this is Dome 2.0. This is the new Infinity Ward version of Dome. It's based around the whole alien extinction mythology. They're kind of digging up these alien ruins ruins and these, this giant pod thing which you'll see over on the left hand side if I ever turn over there. So it's the same thing as Dome, the same layout. Matter of fact, it's the exact same layout. Nothing is different about it except for the Venom X and the crane that you can drive around, which if you if you check out my Venom X uh, and little guide, you'll see how we can uh, manipulate the crane and do some funny things with it, but we didn't know while we were filming here. It does have a very different aesthetic to it. And the Dome was this, you know, military radar facility and you had trucks parked everywhere and you had tanks and that sort of stuff. And this one is all about research, you have the prefab tent buildings, uh, torn down tents, you have toxic chemicals that blow up like the ones I just ran past instead of trucks, you have excavator equipment, you have ruins, but it is the same map and it plays very, very well. Dome is one of the best maps for Modern Warfare 3 in my opinion, and it carries over very, very well in Ghost because they are ultimately similar games from the same studio. What I'm playing here is not what I would say is going to be representative of the normal public matches you're going to play at home. What you play at home is going to be a lot more chaotic. I would expect the spawns to be a little bit worse and you're going to ask, well, why? What is, are you playing on a special good spawns version? No, I'm playing 4v4 against YouTubers. 4v4 is totally different than 6v6. It just that's just how it is. The spawns act differently in 4v4, and when you're playing against YouTubers and community members, they don't play like the guys at home. I think I might actually get a three-piece here. I got a three-piece at one point in this uh, video on, on you know, like T. Martin and uh, Oh Lord Oh on some of the cool guys like this that you might know. That, and they're much, much more difficult competition than just pub stomping. They also don't shoot noob tubes. They don't IED or C4. So you don't run into anything annoying, but you do have to play a lot harder, and people like this do understand the spawns. Like uh, Thumper from I Play Cod was here, and he was kind of uh, learning the spawns as we go. Well, he knew them somewhat from Dome, but he had a really good idea of where I was going to come back after I killed him. And because I knew that he would kill me and I would spawn in this zone, he would head to this area, and then I could flank around and try and get the edge on him. It was a really different metagame than what you're used to running around in pubs throwing noob tubes at each other. But the gameplay was really fun. My particular gameplay is really good. And my overall opinion of this map is that it's great. Of all of the maps that I played, uh, this is the best map, and I know I've done three very positive videos in a row about the DLC, but don't worry, the negative stuff is coming later. This is my favorite map to play. I liked Dome and MW3. It was a little bit chaotic, a little bit crazy, and, you know, nutty. This one's similar, but it's got a, it's got a flow to it. It's got a logic to it. It's got something that I can handle and I'm familiar with, and I had a really great time playing it. I think the Easter egg is really fun. Uh, you, I've probably been beating around the bush a little bit. Time to talk about the Seekers and their behavior. I told you they come in on a KEM strike sort of field order. You don't, if you get 20 something kills you don't get it, but if you do go and get the field order and you call it in and it's the seekers, you pick it up and you call them in and it immediately spawns four to five seekers around you in an area. They're aliens, they're the extinction aliens. They just instantly summon around you. They act a lot like a dog pack from the Black Ops games. And I've noticed that they each have somewhat different AI. There's a couple, of, it's kind of like the Pac-Man ghosts. They each do a little bit different thing. One of them runs around kind of randomly until he sees a person. Uh, two or three of them actually just immediately hunt enemies. Like the, the Seekers know where you are and they're coming for you and they're hunting you. And one of them just runs a huge loop around the backside of the map and just flanks and just runs until he sees something and he blows up. They're very, very effective. You get kills very quickly. You can shoot them uh, if you're if seekers are used against against you and somebody calls in the seekers and they're running at you. What you need to do is run backwards and shoot at them just like the dog packs from previous games. Same thing you do in Extinction. You will survive if they get close to you. I think you can maybe knife them, uh, but they do blow up in your face. They're they're very very dangerous kind of kill streaks. They're fun. They're neat. They're a cool little addition. They'll fight your dogs sometimes. And overall, good map, good gameplay, fun times. This is a map that I could see being played competitive. That's what I wanted to spend the rest of the half of this commentary talking about, is I spent the entire weekend playing competitive Call of Duty, or watching competitive Call of Duty, not doing a whole lot of playing. But one of the things I noticed about competitive for maybe three years in a row, they don't include any DLC maps, and they don't include any DLC guns. Uh, I do understand why a lot of the things are banned, why pros don't want to deal with 
you know, thermal noob tubes and a bunch of crazy nonsense like that, tracker sites. Like, I get that. They're going to, they're pros, they're playing at a different level, they're going to ban the cheap stuff because it can be abused by really, really smart players. But I don't see why DLC has to be on ban. I, I've heard different things about the MLG organization and why they do and don't. Sometimes I've heard it's because not everybody owns DLC and it splits up your player pool, like it causes the, some players to not be able to play some tournaments and that sort of thing. Sometimes I've heard them say it's because the maps run differently on the console being that they're pure on memory and not on a disc. I've heard them say that they don't want to do DLC because the pros have to learn too many things or a lot of different uh, reasons like that. Or, you know, here's another one. We don't want to tax our players. We don't want to make you pay 15 or $20 just to play in the tournament if you don't have the DLC, which goes back to people not owning it. But I think some of these maps could be professional apps. I think Dome could be. If I'm, oh, my bad, unearthed. If I'm not mistaken, and I really might be because I was not very up on the MW3 Pro scene, Dome was one of the competitive maps. I think they played it uh, CTF. If I'm not, there was Dome CTF in competitive. You can correct me if I'm wrong. But unearthed CTF, or it would be unearthed Blitz, could be a really, really good map because this map plays excellently 4v4. 6v6, I did, I'm, I'm kind of scared, but this played really, really well. I don't see why pros couldn't pick up and play. I don't see why in future map packs, this is obviously not going to be for Ghost, but maybe for whatever Sledgehammer is working on, that each map pack would have one map, just one one of the, you know, three or four or five or God knows what they're planning to do that could be considered competitive, that would have some competitive thought to it, that sort of thing. And the weapons they released have always been pretty balanced. There's never been any really OP weapons. The Peacekeeper wasn't, was definitely not an overpowered, underpowered, if anything. The Ripper, I wouldn't say it's OP. It's a very good weapon. If we had the Ripper, the MTAR might get replaced, but it's really not, like, always going to beat the MTAR or anything. The Maverick, a lot of people complained about and said it was OP because it had a two-hit kill range, but the two hit kill range was basically right in front of your face. Uh, even when it wasn't banned, there wasn't a whole lot of people rocking the Maverick. There could be... It, you could add some variety to the competitive scene. It would probably change the business relationship between Activision and MLG, like they'd be pushing and pimping more DLC and like showing how cool it is, but imagine how fun it would have been if at this MLG you had like scrim matches and all these pro teams playing Dome, not not just like kind of pickups and the breaks and stuff. Could have been really fun to watch, could be interesting, add some variety, all that sort of stuff. Here's my seekers I'm going to call in. You can see them run around and blow up. I don't think I caught too many of them blowing up on anybody. I always got them a little bit off screen, but I do follow this one around in the base here. I believe somebody kills me and then I follow it around. I'm going to try really hard to film the Seekers and show you how they look. It is one-to-one -one with Extinction, same animation, same model, same thing. If you've played Extinction, if you're familiar with them, if you're familiar how, with how they work and how they act and how they run, same things. It's kind of cool to see it in multiplayer, really, really chaotic with all the people running around and shooting at you, but... Yeah, overall good, but I would like to see an MLG or a competitive team where we added new maps and new game modes halfway through. I do know the teams practice really hard on what they know and what they learned, but it would be kind of good to see them have to learn some new things and new strategies for these maps. Even if you have a pack that just doesn't have any competitive maps, that's okay. Not the biggest deal, but if you have one like, say, this one, I think you could do Dome Blitz. I think Dome Blitz on MLG would be really, not Dome Blitz, I keep calling it Dome, Unearthed Blitz would be really fun to watch. It's a cool looking map too, it could totally work. If anybody out there is watching and thinking about it, maybe give it a go, who knows. Anyway, I uh, that's kind of all I've got to talk about here now that my I've been blown up. <laughs> by all the stuff. I'm going to go ahead and finish out the game so you can see my gameplay and how I scored and how I did. Hope you enjoyed the commentary. I uh, hope you check out the map if you want to. If not, that's no big deal. Don't worry. I'll still play regular and shoot you in the face with my little MTAR here because it's a cool gun. And I'll see you guys later. Drifter out. Friendly SATCOM active.
Good job. Report to command for debrief.